Γεια σας για ένα ακόμα επεισόδιο στο Horizon Forbidden West. Είμαστε εδώ που σας είχα αφήσει ακριβώς την προηγούμενη φορά. Πάμε να κάνουμε τους διαλόγους, να μάθουμε καινούργια πράγματα για την ιστορία βασικά από ό,τι βλέπω. Για να τελειώσει αυτή η αποστολή. Εδώ έχουμε πολλούς να μιλήσουμε. Έχουμε να μιλήσουμε εδώ. Θα πάμε από κάτω, μάλιστα. Και έχουμε να μιλήσουμε και με αυτούς εδώ πέρα που είναι εδώ μέσα. Μάλλον θα το κάνω πρώτα, να μιλήσω λίγο με τον Errand. Errand, you okay? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now. Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still try to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. What are you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. That reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. What are you working on with your focus? I still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed, I promise. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. So Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. I think that the Mass Effect 2 is the story where you have some friends who learn about their lives and we'll see if they have any side missions for each one of them. So then maybe this will be enough. Λοιπόν, πάμε από εδώ κάτω να βρούμε ποιος είναι εδώ. Aloy, glad you made it back okay. Ωρα, πάμε στο Varl. Αρχικά. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello. It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. 
Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia kernel, they'll have a hard time doing that. So we're dealing with the same Far Zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me, so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. 
reboot Earth for their own benefit. You mentioned the Xenus set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space, other survivors of the colony. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth. That was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database. Before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... ...just out of reach... ...must have been frustrating. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. Bane dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber. Altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they... ...believed me. Well done. Alright, I think that's enough for now. Do you... ...want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. 
I'm gonna die. Hey, calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Πολύ ενδιαφέροντα ιστορία. Όσο πάει γίνεται ακόμη και καλύτερη. Οπότε πάμε τώρα στην Γκάια να δούμε τι θα μας πει κι αυτή. Εδώ πάνω δεν είναι αυτή. Εδώ είναι. Ναι. Για να τελειώσω αυτή την ιστορία. Όχι τίποτα άλλο. Πάμε να δούμε τι θα κάνουμε. Λογικά θα πάμε να παγάμε τις άλλες δύο που έχουμε ξεχάσει. Που δεν τις έχουμε πάρει τις αποστολές. Ε, που μιλάμε. Εδώ. Aloy. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment, I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Gaia. So I guess we won't be making use of Silon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. Μάλιστα. Ε, οπότε κάτι βλέπω εδώ μπροστά έχει ένα πράσινο βελάκι. Κάποιο φαντάζομαι side quest. Έχουμε και πάγκο εργασία τώρα πλέον βλέπω. Ο οποίο είναι εδώ. Άρα στου πάγκου. Εδώ. Εδώ. Για να δούμε. Μπορεί να κάνουμε τίποτα. Έχουμε να βγουν στο λίγες και να δούμε, όχι όμως αυτή που θέλω εδώ. Θέλουμε τι θέλουμε, ψυχαστήρας ουράς, έχω, θέλει δύο, θα... έχω μόνο έναν. Να δούμε, όπλα, έχουμε αυτό εδώ, Α! Σήματα φωτιάς, εφημισίες. Παγιδοβόλ, α είναι παγιδοβόλ αυτό, ναι. Τι άλλο έχουμε. Θα δω, μπορώ να το χρησιμοποιήσω, αν και δεν νομίζω. Λοιπόν, τι άλλο έχουμε να κάνουμε. Αναμίζουμε στη ζώο. Όχι βάλ, δεν θα βάλ. 
Y eso hace lo mismo. Hola. Aloy. Hey, thought I'd uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then... Use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. That you're the start of going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. So far. Charles. Charles. Ora. Λοιπόν, οπότε να ρίχνουμε μια ματιά τι μπορούμε να κάνουμε. Εδώ μέσα έχουμε το χάρτη πλέον. Ωραία. Skill point. Έχω 6 skill points. Ε, θα ήθελα να βάλω εδώ. Πάμε να δούμε εδώ τι έχουμε. Μακριά ρηπή. Μάλιστα. Αυτό ίσω να είναι ενδιαφέρον. Ναι, μ' αρέσει. Γιατί με το βαρύστα έχω πρόβλημα να. Να βάλω να καρφώσω λίγο και εδώ. Τι είναι αυτό. Οι ισχυρές βολές. Περισσότερη ζημιά με τόξα βαλίστες. Ωραία. Τι άλλο έχουμε εδώ πέρα. Αντοχή όπλου. Και εδώ. Στους αδόδους άλλους ταχύτητα. Όχι. Αυτό εδώ τι είναι. Βολή πτώσης. Να, και αυτό είναι υπερβολή. Ναι, αυτό εδώ μου αρέσει, αλλά δεν μπορώ να το πάρουμε ακόμα. Γιατί δεν μπορώ να το πάρουμε ακόμα, Γιατί δεν έχουμε πάρει αυτό λογικά που το ξεκλειδώνει. Αλλά αυτό θέλει τρία, έπρεπε να το πάρουμε μετά. Να δω λίγο και στο εδώ. Τι έχουμε, Περιστρεφόμενο δερπάνι. Κάνει αυτό, μάλιστα. Εδώ θέλει. Πόσο θέλει, Α, θέλει αυτό εδώ πρώτα. Καταστροφέ. Φωτισής αντίχυσης και αυτό το τι είναι πάλι Διάσπαρτη βολή Α. Δεν ξέρω Δεν ξέρω, μάλλον θα πάρω Να δω και στην επιβίωση, αν και αυτά τα έχω πάρει σχεδόν όλα όπως βλέπετε Υπερφόρτωση ασπίδα, τι είναι αυτό Α, πως το κάνω αυτό Πρέπει να ψάξω να δω πως το κάνω αυτό. Συμπλοκή με χαμηλή ζωή. Ε, ωραία, θα το κάνουμε και αυτό εδώ. Ωραία. Λοιπόν, και να δούμε τώρα ε, αποστολές. Έχουμε αυτές τις δύο και έχουμε και αυτά εδώ τα δευτερεύοντα. Κατά τα θελήματα δεν τα δείχνω. Λοιπόν, οπότε έχουμε τη θάλασσα από άμμο και τις πόρους του παρελθόντος. Θα κάνουμε μόνο αυτό εδώ την επόμενη φορά. Ναι. Θα πάμε εκεί στο Las Vegas νομίζω είναι Που είναι και σχετικά κοντά Ωραία Οπότε πάμε για να μην... Αυτός θέλει επιτραπέζια 
Ε, θα μιλήσω και με τον Βάρν για να τελειώσω oh. του διαλόγου, ώστε το επόμενο επεισόδιο να κάνουμε δράση. Και τώρα μην ξεκινήσω ε, το ταξίδι, γιατί θα μα πάρει η πολλή ώρα. Είμαστε κοντά στη μισή ώρα ήδη και θα γίνει μεγάλο το επεισόδιο. Οπότε κάτσε να μιλήσουμε και στο Βάρν. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory and all Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs, something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything really doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. I'm guessing you've spoken with Katalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Make sure she's comfortable. Okay. Λοιπόν, κάπου εδώ θα σταματήσουμε αυτό το επεισόδιο. Στο επόμενο επεισόδιο θα έχει αποκλειστικά δράση. Θα συνεχίσουμε την ιστορία και θα πάμε στη δεύτερη ε, μισοτόπια και να δούμε ποιο είναι. Είναι αποστολέ μια θάλασσα στον Ποσειδώνα. Και μετά θα πάμε στο Δημήτρη. Έτσι θα σα λέω, Ποσειδώνα και Δημήτρη. Ή Δήμητρα. Μπορεί να είναι Δήμητρα, μάλλον. Ή Δήμητρα, ενώ και, ό, όχι μάλλον, είναι η Δήμητρα. Λοιπόν, κάπου εδώ θα σα αφήσω. Ελπίζω να σα άρεσε το επεισόδιο. Ήταν λίγο βαρετό αυτό το επεισόδιο, το ομολογώ. Δεν έχει καθόλου δράση. Αλλά μάθαμε πολύ ενδιαφέρουσε πληροφορίε. Μάθαμε ποιοι είναι οι Zenith και είναι κατά κάποιο τρόπο χιλιών χρόνων αθάνατοι. Ε, και κάτι κάνανε στην πυραμπικία του και ξαναγυρίσαν πίσω για να πάρουν τη γη. Λοιπόν, ε, πολύ ενδιαφέρουσα ιστορία. Συνεχίζει και να γίνεται όλο και καλύτερη. Εμεί θα δούμε την επόμενη φορά στο επόμενο επεισόδιο. Όπω πάντα, να περνάτε καλά. Γεια σα.